know it. Okay, let's hop into question number two for the evening from Not Happy in Harrison Township. Uh -huh. And Not Happy writes, uh -huh. a realtor is telling me that I have to sign a mutual release with a potential buyer when my counter offer to their purchase agreement was never accepted. Is that right? <laughs> Is that question, that question actually find its way on the list? Uh, the answer it. is no, she's wrong. The realtor's wrong or th he's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, if there's, a, there's no signed contract, uh, there's no agreement, you don't need a release. I don't know what that person's talking about. But, you know, I, I'll tell you, uh, and let's be, let's make it easy, kind of like the other question related to the title agent. Um, there are some great real estate agents out there, uh, just like there's so many great real estate professionals, attorneys, uh, title companies, appraisers, you know, investors. Okay, but the, the, the access or the threshold to become a realtor is not very high. And yes. so here's another one where you would probably pick up the phone and say, hey, are you sure? Let's, let's talk to your broker right now. All yes. Right. No, nothing's happened. There's mm -hmm. no money to release. There's no, you know, now if you have a purchase agreement that's signed and let's say there's no money, you may, and then something falls apart. Yeah. You're going to want to have a release because there's a contract there. It's mm -hmm. been signed, but there's nothing here. Move on. Yes. Move on. No. That's pretty yep. easy. Yeah. That, that, those, that one was pretty a easy. new law clerk who's putting these together. I don't know, they give us some pretty tough ones, you yep. know? All right, maybe number three will be a little more meaty. Let's dive into 